back to another episode. So today we're going to talk about Holy Paladin's PvP talents in Battle for Azeroth. At the moment I'm in the beta um, and I'm going to go through the B, well the PvP talents for Holy Paladins. Um, so in Battle for Azeroth you can see here we have this new tab. So instead of having a full tab of PvP talents we just have this little filler here. The first one is for our PvP, PvP trinket. So you can choose the original PP trinket, the automatically PP trinket, or the one where you actually just get well reduced duration of crowd control. So in this case I'll probably take the normal PP trinket. Then we have three slots down here. Each of these these three slots have exactly the same spells, but this spell list here, you can only choose three of them. And trust me, you would wish you could have more of them because I mean they're pretty nice, most of the spells here. Um, so let's go through them one by one and you can see what you can expect by playing yeah, PvP as Holy Paladin in the next expansion. Remember this is beta, so things can change. So let's see here. Pure Heart. Whenever you or allies within 20 yards are healed from any source, from any source, they are cleansed of one disease and poison effect. I mean that's pretty cool. So I didn't want every time when I, whenever someone is healed, me or an ally close to me is healed, they're being being cleansed. I mean, awesome. When you heal with holy light, all enemies within 10 yards of the target take holy damage equal to 30% of the amount healed. Also insane if your team will need some more damage. Ultimate sacrifice. Your blessing of sacrifice now transfers 100% of all damage to you into a damage or time effect, but no longer cancels when you are below 20 health. So that means you can pr basically die, but you will actually take everything, 100% of the damage your partner is taking. Um, so normally it takes... Normally it reduces the damage taken by 30, but I will suffer 75 of the damage prevented. And that's something you will get. Damage you will get instant on you. But this one here actually makes it to a kind of a debuff on you. Every 5 seconds the healing done by your next light of dawn is increased by 10. Stacks up to 10 times. This effect does not occur while light of dawn is on cooldown. Your allies affected by aura gain an effect after you cast blessing of protection or blessing of freedom. Physical damage reduced by 30 for 6. Clear all clear of clear of all movement impairing effects. Ah, uh, okay, so everyone who is actually affected by my aura here that has 10 yards, if I cast Blessing of Freedom on myself, then all my allies in for the next 10 yards will also be cleared for all moving impairments. And I guess if you if you stop it or uh, stack it with aura mastery, then it's 14 yards, and then basically everyone in your party will get those benefits. Pretty neat. Uh, cleans the weak. When you dispel an ally within your aura, all allies within the aura are dispelled of the same effect. But remember again, it's only 10 yards your aura, so... Your next holy light of, of flesh light is increased by 100, costs no mana and is unable to interrupt. Need. Increase the healing done by your holy light by 50 and your holy light reduce all damage the target receives by 5% for 8 seconds stacks up to 3 times so that means holy light is basically going to be your main healing spell I mean it's going to be the best healing spell um, but remember it has a very long cast time has 2.2 .2 seconds and flashlight have 1.3 so well, you will hope your 
get allowed. It's actually casted. Your concentration clears and suppresses all snare effects on allies within its area of effect. Suppress all snare effects, okay. Your blessing spells now have one additional charge. So that means blessing of freedom, blessing of protection, and blessing of sacrifice will now have two charges. Increase the range of your aura by 30 yards. Okay, so actually if you stack this one here with 30 yards, then take this one here with where everyone will get a benefit from your blessings. And uh, your blessings. Yeah. Whenever you dispel an ally within the aura, yep. so now you will actually have a. This is a very nice <laughs> aura spec. Your aura will be every one in your party basically in pre P, and they will have effects from your blessings. And every time you dispel one of them, it dispels everyone. Pretty cool. And remember, if you want to use those PP talents in PvE for world PvP or questing, you have to enable this one here. War mode. And now you will only be able to meet other people in well world PP that has this en enabled. And if you take it off again, you will not meet people meet people with it. And when you actually have it on, you will get up I think ten percent uh, extra XP. So it can be worth if you don't die in PP, but I mean, if you don't meet any other players, you just get 10% extra XP. So, so yeah, guys, this was the little PP talents for Holy Paladins. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. Um, and else, yeah, leave down a comment if you have any questions or anything to say. So thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.